Everest No Filter fans, this is Emily Harrington coming to you from Catalonia, Spain. For those of you who don't know me, I am Adrian Ballinger's girlfriend and also a professional rock climber. And I'm going to be helping today with updating you guys on everything that's happening with their summit push. Hey, guess what? The wind stopped just like it was meant to. 6 a.m. It just turned off. I'm liking that. I'm liking it a lot. So what a lot of people don't realize is that our summit push actually kind of starts at 7-7. We're going to be awake for about the next 40 hours. We moved to camp 3 or 8-3 today and rest, but last year I didn't sleep at all and neither did Adrian. So this morning's kind of about saddling up, getting ready for a very, very long day, a long push, conserving energy, and then giving it everything we have. hour in right now 50 minutes feeling like total fucking garbage it's hard to know if I'm battling last night's sleep or what but right now this just sucks today is all about not getting mind fucked managing the pace keeping the heart rate super low update about the boys. They are just over 27,000 feet at 8,300 meters. They arrived there about an hour ago, a little more than an hour ago, and they are resting up, hydrating, eating. They will be heading up for the summit in about four or five hours. So I'll be keeping you guys posted. So a lot of you guys have been asking me how I'm feeling, um, being Adrian's girlfriend on summit day. <laughs> and I feel just how you would expect. I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm really proud of him, um, but I'm scared. It's 10.30 p.m. That guy gets to sleep a little bit more because he's faster than me. I'm having a coffee. Right now I feel as good as I could expect. No headache, no nauseousness. I didn't really sleep. I'm just gonna go one foot. My struggles with the cold, I might not be snapping a whole lot. Corey will be. Good news is there is no wind out there. None. The indomitable Adrian Ballinger getting ready to leave the tent at 11.30 p.m. on May 27th. Dude. Well, we got music. We got no wind. just got word from Monica that Corey has decided to turn around. He's not feeling it. Adrian's going to continue climbing along with Topo, Parinji Sherpa, and Paulden Sherpa. So he still has a lot of support. Well, above 28,000 feet, here's where we know. It's warm today. I'm really emotional. Corey made the really hard decision to turn around. Not feeling it. Alright you guys, major plot twist, Corey has changed his mind and he wants to continue with oxygen. There's Adrian right there. The summit is just through the clouds, up above us. Another update from Monica, the team is about an hour to an hour and a half from the summit, which is exciting. Everyone is on O's except for Adrian, so that's Corey, Topo, Mingma, Paulden, and Pasan Rinji. <laughs> As the boys say, this being no filter, um, I'll just be straight with you guys. <laughs> uh, this is the first time that I feel, like, scared 
really scared and nervous um, and stressed. <laughs> but I trust the team. I trust Adrian. I trust his instincts. And um, I'm sure they're making good decisions. We're at about 28,995 feet right now. I've never seen anybody work so hard for anything in my life. My brother, Ming Madai, and the summit behind. So close. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is my phone not dead, but that is Adrian Ballinger with no oxygen on the top of the world. Yay, V! Here we are, one year later, you did it, fuck yeah. I hope this counts as snapping from the summit. Court Richards right there, summit. Man, I can't believe I did it. You Just did so it. gripped right now. Took every ship we had, Corey's help on oxygen. I'm in it, I'm in it. This is summit, peace. Love the shit out of you guys. You guys are one of the biggest reasons this is all happening. Um, and we all really appreciate the support and the good energy. Reading your guys' comments last night and all the um, love and support was really, really nice. It's not easy to be the one sitting at home waiting to hear news. Um, and uh, having this little outlet for me was awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you all so much. You're all amazing. And I had a great time and stoked to hear from the guys.